But my name's Amrit Singh, and uh, I be was living in Boston uh, about 15 years ago, and I took a Kundalini yoga class for gym credit at college. And uh, my yoga teacher was a Sikh, and you know wore full bond and a turban. And uh, uh, I kind of got into doing yoga and was enjoying that. And I uh, actually worked in the summers out here in New Mexico. So I got a chance to go to our summer solstice uh, celebration where there's hundreds of Sikhs and big Gurdwara. And so I uh, kind of got to see what a Gurdwara was like and meet more Sikhs. And uh, over a few years, I went to some other events out in uh, the Millis Ashram uh, near Boston. And again, got to know Sikhs, got to be friends with them, got to go to some Gurdwaras and got to know more about some of the Sikh philosophy. Um, you know, some picked up well, as I got, did more and more yoga, I got more interested in spirituality and, you know, there's, in, even in the yoga classes, there's, we talk about the gurus and we, we do, do chants to Guru Ramdas and, uh, and then my connections with the uh, ashram and solstice where there's, you know, other Sikhs, I got to learn more about Sikhism. And uh, about four and a half years after my first yoga class, I just was gradually realizing that um, I believe the same things that Sikhs believe and I just said, uh, I guess I need to make it official, and so uh, that's when I sort of put on a turban full time. Um, I had been a yoga teacher before then, and uh, you know, our teachings are: if you're going to teach yoga, you need to cover your head, you know, ideally with a white cotton cloth. So when I taught yoga, I would wear a turban, and I actually learned how to tie a tie a pug, and uh, did that when I taught yoga, and I actually could feel a difference. I could feel the effect of wearing a turban versus not. Um, so again, gradual, gradual, gradual. I got to said, all right, you know, what Sikhs believe, I believe, and uh, I uh, did the well, our little ceremony of taking Sikh vows and uh, started wearing a turban from that day on. Um, but you know, one of the the other key things that to me really made it so real and not just an intellectual exercise was uh, when I would go to Gurdwara, or still do when I do go to Gurdwara, and I stand before the Guru, bow before the Guru. Uh, there's a feeling there of what I'm standing before that's something that's so vast and something that's so uh, real and, and more true than norm, even normal daily life. So the feeling that that gave me in my heart of standing there before the Guru is really what um, convinced me way beyond an intellectual level that I was a Sikh and that this is something that, that I need to do and want to do. Uh, in terms of it, do I, is it difficult to live as a Sikh and looking so different in America? I would say, from my experience, absolutely not. Um, when I first became a Sikh, it was so different, so new even just for me. Uh, if anything, I kind of enjoyed uh, looking a little different and getting some funny looks around and didn't bother me at all. And uh, even a funny story, last weekend I was in uh, Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, and uh, I was in a drugstore and the lady behind the counter asked me if I was with the Taliban. Um, the, the funny thing was, though, I misheard her at first, and so I answered yes. Um, but uh, even even with that, uh, I don't know. I didn't, you know, doesn't I didn't take offense at it. I don't sort of take it personally. And she wasn't violent or anything. She just asked the question, and then she started asking, you know, well, what are you? And I had a little conversation about Sikhism, and it, it was totally fine. So uh, for me, I, there's no, I don't find it difficult to live like this in America at all.